This will be the first dirt we've run through our Nighthawk Tier 5 plant. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. I hope you're excited. You better be excited. It's been a lot of work, man. Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get started uh, digging. Uh, so if you didn't catch the last episode, we got our Tier 5 wash plant all set up. And yeah, for some reason, the graphics are still screwed up on these things. That is really weird. Here, hold on a second. I got to adjust my mouse pixel setting. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what the heck's going on with that. We're going to have to check that out maybe back at the at the shop next time we're in town or something. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're ready to get rocking and rolling here. It um, It is 11.45 a.m. Uh, day one of season two, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, so, yeah, let's take a look at the map here. We want to go into the gold map. And so uh, this is what we have drilled out on this parcel, uh, which we did, you know, two or three episodes back now. And so uh, this area right here is where the wash plant is. So my plan is to is to start cutting in through here. We'll we'll go ahead and, and process this dirt here <clears throat> and work our way to this first hot spot and that's where we'll we'll really start hitting the good stuff to start with, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and toggle these squares here and this is essentially going to be our roadway into uh, the claim up to that point. And we're also going to want to get like I said, these squares here, um, not necessarily those ones up there, however. Okay, so yeah, this is basically where we're going to start uh, digging in right here. And then when we come back out with the dump truck loads and whatnot, well, we're going to, we're going to, you know, get the Frankensteins going here pretty soon, too. Um, this is where it's got to come to. But this first, uh, here, let's look at these again. The first two squares, well, yeah, and actually this square here, too. We're not, <clears throat> excuse me, we're not going to bother even trying to process that dirt. We're just going to basically get rid of it. Okay, so let's try the front loader first, but we probably are going to want to use the backhoe or the excavator for this okay let's get those lights on there um if i can if i can dig down you know with the front loader to get to that stuff then that'll be great but if not then we'll have to use the excavator let's just see what we can do here uh now if you didn't know this the way basically things work in this game is if you drop pay dirt on um on the bedrock it basically just disappears it's not even cutting down into there at all all right what's the deal man huh interesting this isn't still like permafrosted up is it that is like just not even touching it all right let's try the Let's go ahead and try the excavator. I mean, it is frosty looking, but I didn't know that we would have permafrost uh, in spring. Uh, maybe we do. Okay, so let's just park this over here. And we'll try the excavator. And see if this works. If this doesn't work, then maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's actually still permafrost mode. And if that's the case, then we either have to rent a bulldozer with a ripper, or we have to wait until the permafrost disappears. Uh, but let's see if we can dig into it here with the excavator first. Maybe that's all we need to do. I figured I could get a bite on it with the front loader, though, but maybe not. Yeah, I know I'm digging in hard soils. I'm I'm starting to think this is permafrost. Okay, hold on. Bring that in. Yeah, it it, it does not want to. 
Here, let's back up a little bit. Yeah, it is not doing anything. It should be scooping that dirt. Especially since we moved back a little bit, you know, from the, um, you know, the bedrock. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and just leave this here. And let's sleep till tomorrow and just see what happens in the morning. And if it's still frosty looking, then I guess that means it's uh, it's still permafrost. Okay, so it's the next day. Yeah, yeah, okay, good enough. Oh, there's a story thingy over here. Where is it at? Right there. You found a new part of the story. Check the journal to read the story. Okay. Stories. Man, there's still a lot of stories we need to find, isn't there? Nighthawk Parcel. The Earth Goddess particularly admired the beautiful Alaskan forest. She had her grove there where she spent most of her time. For centuries, people have tried to find it, believing in the unimaginable amount of gold that could be found there, but with no effect. Okay, so the Earth Goddess apparently hung out at Nighthawk Parcel, uh, according to that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I don't see any more frost on, well, wait, do I? No, no more frost on the, uh, on the dirt. So let's see what happens now. I think it'll work now. So yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a bit dark for a bit. Um, I was asking the comments why the videos are so dark, and it's just this game. Uh, in fact, I was going to look and see if there's... I think I've already done this, but I can't remember for sure. Is there any kind of... Uh, like brightness setting? Detail, reflections, particle. Yeah, there's no brightness setting at all in this game. Which is really odd, considering... You know, how dark the game is intense light effects that's disabled so uh i'll try and see if i you know i can add a little bit of gamma in editing to but the problem with gamma is it does brighten it up but it also kind of washes it out a little bit too but i'll see if i can brighten it up a little bit for you guys and uh, yeah we'll just kind of go from there i suppose all right so uh, let's raise this up a bit and pull forward right to about there. Okay. Now, what we basically want to do is just dump this dirt right on the bedrock and then it disappears. And it's going to yell at us. for digging uh, on the bedrock, but, you know, if we have to get extra teeth, we have to get extra teeth. Uh, you know what we could actually do is we could hook up our our light, our big light. It'll help a little bit. It's up here. So, yeah, let's grab that and bring it down here, and we'll shed some light on this situation. Okay, that gets us um, pretty much to this place where we want to start processing dirt. Uh, so let's bring a Frank out here and um, just see what the possibilities are of getting it set up right away. Oh, we should we should also have our uh, full tank of fuel now too because we we slept till the next day. Let's double check that. Yep, it's full. Okay, good. All right, yeah, let's bring Frank out here and see uh, what the deal is with that. I've got two of them, uh, which uh, you would know if you've been watching all along, and if you haven't, well, now you do know that we have two of them. 
Um, so let's bring... We want that to be on Nighthawk, and we want... I suppose we could just bring them both out here. There's no reason not to, right? Yeah, let's just bring them both out. Here they are. Look at these things, man. <laughs> Those are awesome. Okay. This is my very first time driving one of these. So I think the back is where we dump the dirt in the front is where it's supposed to drop off into the hopper. Um, and we're also supposed to be able to extend it too. So we'll have to figure that out. Oh, I guess we're hitting the other one there. You know, we actually, you know, if we have this going right over the Glacier Creek input, we don't even need to use the conveyor belt or any of that stuff, now that I think about it. We'll just have to see how we can get it potentially set up here. It's got 33% fuel in it already. And what we'll, if we can get that that to work then we'll just disconnect the conveyor and the hopper for now until later when we need them again. Okay, so we'll get this turned around. I think what we want to do is go here and then start turning this way. Yeah, okay. So this needs to be right over this. Oh, it's hitting the hopper. Okay, hold on. All right, well, that's about as close as it's going to get. Okay, now, um, how do we... We're in operator mode. Okay, so raise belt, lower belt, extend belt, retract belt belt off and on. So I think we want to extend the belt. Okay, why isn't there anything happening? Do we have to turn it on first? Okay, now it's on. Extend belt is the R key. Retract belt. Oh, does it extend from the front? And we're like all butted up against there, so that's why it's not working, maybe? Okay, driver mode. Turn off. Driver mode. I can't get it to back up. There we go. Okay. So maybe it's the front part that extends. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Now, let's put the brake on. Here, let's bring this back up. Operator mode is shift. Ex, uh, extend belt. Ah, there we go. Okay. That's why it wasn't working. It looks like that's about as far as we can go. Okay, 
it's kind of hard for me to tell exactly where it's at. So why don't we, here, let's hop out for a minute. Looks to me like it might be a little too far. So we might have to back up just a little bit. Yeah, okay, so let's back up a bit. Okay, driver mode. And let's turn it this way a little too. All right, now let's look at it. That's probably pretty good. Right there, I'm thinking. I would imagine the game, you know, gives us a little bit of tolerance as to oh crap how close it actually has to be well so much for that eh it looks like it's over it pretty good I th I'm gonna say yeah okay so I think it's over it pretty good right there Okay, so I, Okay, so now raise belt, lower belt. What is that doing? I think our front loader is probably now in the way. So that's where we want to dump the the dirt. Okay, so raise belt. Oh, okay, lower belt. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so we want this to be down. And we can rotate it, too, just like a the excavator. Okay, so now the next question is, is it possible to get this down in our little hole there and still up high enough to go in the hopper? I don't know if it is, because we'd have to go up over the wash plant. We might be able to do it, though. You're going to have to get out of the way. Um... We'd probably have to start, uh, yeah, see the problem is there's not going to be any room for the front loader to maneuver as it currently is unless we clear some more dirt out of the way first. But right now I'm just kind of curious to see if I can even get it in place to where you know the the dump off spot that thing there is somewhere in this vicinity uh, maybe I don't know let's try it we might be able to get that to work or maybe we can't I don't know all right so I think what we should do is go back into driver mode and Right, uh, yeah, do that so it's not scraping on the ground. Now, if we can't use the front loader at first, we, we could certainly use the excavator. But if we can get the front loader going, that would be ideal because we're just going to move more dirt more quickly with the front loader. Uh, I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to get up there. That's the thing. Um, we might have to use both the Franks to get this to work properly. Uh, okay, well, here, let's... 
back up here and then turn this way. Yeah, I just don't see how we're going to be able to get that all the way up to the to the glacier, uh, to the wash plant. I uh, just don't think that's going to work. Right, let's hop out for a second. We'd have to almost have it like right here. Well, okay. It would have to be coming at this angle for that end to be over here and the other end to be up at the wash plant. But I don't think we have enough space to do that. Because that's fully extended already. See, I'd have to come like in right about here, and I think this little deck might be in the way of that. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Let's uh, go into, let's retract the belt all the way back for a minute. So we can maneuver a little better here. Okay, now. One back up this way. And then let's go forward. Okay, and then twist it this way. Maybe come back to here and then go to here. Okay, that's kind of the angle we're looking for there. Now let's raise this up. Until it clears the trommel and extend it out. And then drive it forward as far as we can go, pointing towards Glacier Creek. You know what? This might work. Can I not go through there? Oh, man. Oh, nuts. I can't go through there. Okay. I was going to walk all the way up to the end and see if it was over. Oh, it is over. Actually, it's beyond over. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Um, so, and it's not hitting the trommel or interfering with anything over here. Okay. So, all right, let's do this. Let's, um, Let's kind of just leave it where it is, except for I think we should probably extract it back just a little bit. Maybe to there.
That would probably work. That will probably work. I don't see why not. Yeah, because it's it's definitely over this. The dirt's going to come right out and drop right down into there. Okay. Me likey. Me likey, man. Okay, so we got that done. Now, let's go ahead and... I guess we... We just turn that on when we're ready to use it, but we're not quite ready to use it yet. So let's go into driver mode and set the parking brake. And turn that off. Now, can we still run the conveyor without the engine on? No. Okay, so the engine does have to be on. Okay, that makes sense. Um... No. Turn off. Well, I'm surprised we got that in place like that. Okay, so now the only thing we got to do now is we have to, we just need enough room to maneuver with the front loader. All those uh the textures are all getting screwed up again like they are wont to do in this game. So, let me think about this for a second. If we we just have to be able to go in, scoop, and then turn around enough, swing around enough to get to dump in into this. That's what we got to be able to do. So, and since it's already kind of more on that side, I think it's this dirt over here that we should clear out of the way. You know, maybe kind of cut into here so we can just kind of swing back in through here to turn around and do our dump. So I think we need to cut this little section of dirt out here. All right. Let's uh, let's get her done, man. This is working out uh, better than I anticipated. Well, at least I hope it will anyway. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Crap. Can we recover? Yeah, you can do it. Come on, buddy. <laughs> or not. Oh, that works. Okay. <laughs> it's going to give us another, another shot here. Be a little more careful this time. All right. Yeah, so let's just clear ourselves an area. This is all just crap dirt anyway. Uh, just enough room to be able to turn around, you know, take a scoop of the good dirt, turn around, and pop it in the hopper there. All right, let's jump in the excavator to clean up some of this stuff on the ground here that I'm having trouble getting with, uh, getting to with the front loader. Let's see what we can do with this. Um, so we will turn on the Frank. Well, I guess we have to turn on the whole wash plant, don't we? Well, actually, before we do that, let me just make sure I can actually get a bucket and then back up enough to dump it in the Frank's conveyor. Because uh, if not, we're going to have to do some, a little bit more digging. Whoa. Basically, we go down here and we start grabbing this dirt here.
and you basically just have to get whoa <laughs> to here to dump it okay i think this will this will get us started provided i don't <laughs> i don't knock that thing over my goodness okay let's go over here and that is still running the sounds just borked on it so we'll turn our water on and we'll turn our power on this will be the first dirt we've run through our nighthawk tier 5 plant i'm excited are you guys excited i'm excited i hope you're excited you better be excited it's been a lot of work man right off the bat a stupid button breaks i don't care um oh actually though you know what we don't need those things running. In fact, we might even want to just disconnect them for now. Okay. So this is the Glacier Creek plant. First time we've seen this in action. I can't really get a good look at it. Here, I know what we can do. Oh, we're inside of it. Okay, I guess we're going to get processed. <laughs> cool. All right, let's start up the Frank. And G to turn on the belt. All righty, here we go, you guys. Uh, looks like we want to... Okay. Now, I wonder if... Well, that's weird. Look how it's continuing to pull the dirt. Is it like pulling it off the ground or something? I wonder if we're supposed to load this from the end and not the side, or or does it matter? I mean, it did work. It, I just don't know if it was efficient, is all. all right, let's get a nice little bucket load of this good dirt here. Can I get to it from the front? Am I swing it around this way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we can, mostly, yeah. Let's twist it around this way a little more. Huh. Okay. It's it showed like um like six percent full. Normally we'd get a full bucket load in the dump trucks twelve. But the thing about this is that we can just keep going, man. I mean, we don't have to mess around with the dump truck at all. I'm, I'm going to need, definitely going to need to make a little more room here to maneuver. Um, it worked a little bit better when we got at it from the side, even though this thing looks like it's just about ready to tip over. <laughs> wow. Okay. So let's try this again and get over a little bit better maybe even a little better than that okay so yeah I guess we only got three percent there it'll get It'll get better as I, you know, clear more space to maneuver here. Might want to just remove a little bit of the dirt to the left of the hopper, too, just to give ourselves a little more space. This actually isn't too bad here, though, really. Right, let's get right over it. 
that got like 4%. Okay. Yeah, let's uh let's see if we can get rid of like just this little protruding a uh, bit of dirt here. So we have a little more room to just kind of get in there. I'm not even going to put this in the hopper. Let's just dump it out and make it disappear. Cuz this is really bad dirt here. It's just crap. Okay. All right. Well, I you know I'll get better at this. It it's mostly just kind of the janky terrain that we're fighting right at the moment, but that'll get better as we clear more space to work. Okay. Let's lower this down a little bit. Back up just a smidge. Okay, we got 6% dirt in that time. It's almost like it it looks like it's picking it up though off the ground too from dumping it in front of it. Because it keeps moving even after I've you know dumped it. I'm not I'm not really sure. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Here, let's try an experiment here. Let's just grab some crap dirt. Now, if we just dump this in front of the hopper instead of in the hopper, will it still pick it up? That's what I want to see. Let's just kind of dump it right here. Well, maybe a little closer. No, I don't think so. I think you have to actually get it in the hopper. Okay. Yeah, that's tricky. But again, I, the the biggest challenge right now is just the terrain that we're on. That was just a bucket load of crap dirt. It probably would behoove me to to clear a little more room here before we really get started in earnest. But, you know, once we get far enough back to set up the second frank, hopefully we'll be on flatter ground on the bedrock and then then this will become a lot easier I think we got that in a pretty good position though all things considered I was kinda surprised we were able to set it up like that I didn't think we were gonna be able to do it but we got her done It seems to me like if we position this right, we could get in the, the entire bucket on the, on the belt, you know what I mean? It still only says 6%. I don't know, you guys that know this game, was that a full bucket load? Because it goes up to 6%, but then it doesn't immediately start counting down. It's like it's slow. It, it's taking longer for it to count all the way down as if it's getting more material. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It looked to me like I got that entire bucket on there. Let's try it again. Okay, we did we did drop a little bit of that on the ground. But see how it's not immediately counting down? So, I don't know, it seems to suggest that it's getting more than just 6%. Cuz it 
Because, like I said, a full bucket is 12% on the front loader. But I, I haven't seen that counter go above 6%. over the belt oh I just saw it touch 7% for a moment there I think that's the first time I've seen it do that or noticed it do that it kind of looks like that's a longer line of dirt now too hmm very interesting Okay, let's do one more and then I want to go look and see how the wash plant's doing. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're already 20% there. Still dumping dirt in. 21%. 22%. All right. Well, it's working. <laughs> it is working. This is not like the best dirt we have, so I'm not expecting our first uh, clean out to be super good, but it should be. Uh, but we are using Tier 5 equipment, you know, a full Tier 5 plant. So that's going to make a difference too, but I, I wouldn't even hazard a guess right now as to how much gold we'll get on the first clean out here. But I could, I can definitely see where this setup's going to be way faster than the dump truck if you if you have the Frank position in a you know in a good spot. Uh, which we do, but I mean, I'm I'm just not positioned in a good spot at the moment is a thing. Okay, that one went up to 6%. That seems to be the, the most common number that I'm seeing here. I need to work on trying to get nice and square with this so I'm not dropping any dirt at all on the ground. Oh man, <laughs> that little dip always kind of freaks me out a little bit. Okay, that's pretty straight on there. Still only got six though. There's a nice full bucket. Ah crap, we lost a hydraulic hose. All right, we're gonna have to get this fixed. Whoa. Uh. Okay. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that happen. Uh, must be probably this hose here. I'm guessing. Yeah. So let's see. We need the wrench for this. I I don't know if I have any spare hoses or not. I usually do keep a few on hand, so if I don't, we'll buy a couple extra. So it's uh, one of the things that goes the most, seems. Goes, breaks the most often. Uh, but let's run over to our shed and see if I have any. Uh, where are we at on the plant, by the way? Okay, we're at 28, 29%. Okay. In fact, I might just dump that in there. Let's turn this off for now, just so we're not wasting fuel and all that, and wear and tear on the equipment. 
Ah, uh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, does not look like I have any spare hydraulic hoses. Unless they're in the back. No, I don't think they're in the back of the pickup. We must have just used them all. So I'm going to order... Uh, let's sit, let's get about four of them. Equipment store parts. Hydraulic hose. Check out. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to repair that hose and then uh, keep working on this and I'll bring you back. Uh, for the first clean out and we'll see how much gold we get. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back and we're just about full in the plant here for our first clean out. So, um, it seems like this works a little bit better if I get it more from the end than the side, but we got 7% there. I've, I've never seen anything higher than 7% uh on that so okay where are we at on the plant 97 98 let's throw one more bucket in and then uh that should be should do it now i want to cut away right where the back end of the front loader just bumped right there i'm going to cut that away a little more so i have a little more room to back in there i can just about do that in one turn but I've noticed if I get my front tires right up against the back of that and dump, I get a pretty good... Yeah, it's full. Well, I only got a 6% dump there. Okay, so let's turn this off and... Turn the conveyor off so we're not feeding any more dirt into it. All right. So yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to expect from this first clean out. Other than it's certainly not going to be as good as it uh, as it could be. Uh, let's see, we want the power splitter. Oh, that's the stupid broken button. Uh, really? All right, you know what? I'm just gonna do it this way. I'll have to get another button. There. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's going. And then for the water, we don't need to run the water through the main plant. So we could dis temporarily disconnect that one, uh, which is going to be this red line here. Uh, no, that isn't the right one. Is it this one? Yeah, it is. And then for these, uh, for the hog pans, I guess we'll just disconnect them down here for now. Unless I can come up with a, a better solution for that. I'll turn that off too. Yeah, I'll have to get into a, <clears throat> a rhythm for the, you know, for the new plant. So this first couple of times is probably going to be a little awkward. Uh, all right, so let's get up here and pull you out. And we'll start with the upper sluice box. So, you know, but again, we are using a tier five setup. So, you know, if we, I, I don't know what, how much, higher of a percentage you get from tier five as opposed to tier four. So I'm not sure what that is. So I guess we're just going to, you know, we were digging the mediocre dirt for one thing, not the best dirt, not the worst, but not the best. So I'd be curious to see if we would get, I mean, <clears throat> an 80 ounce clean out on old Arnold was like really, really good. Like Darn near the best I ever got. I think there was one where we got maybe 90 once. 
but an 80 ounce was really good. So let's let's see if we can get at least an 80 ounce out of this one. I gotta remember how to do this, man. It's been such a long time. <laughs> okay, so does this have water? Yeah. Okay. So we'll let that fill up and we can go put this back in its spot. I gotta I gotta figure out what the texture business is on these machines because it's bugging me. Okay. And then this will put right into the wave table. And uh Yeah, we don't put a bucket on the wave table. The gold just automatically goes into our inventory. Okay, so we'll let that run. And that can go back in there. Okay, now we only have to do one bucket each on the gravel pumps instead of two each, which is nice. A little bit less screwing around here. Well, it's not screwing around, but... Okay, we'll get that started. All right, we got 15.94 out of that, which isn't super good, but it's not terrible either. Okay. We'll let that run, <clears throat> and then um, let's go ahead and start working on the hog pens. Oh, that's not completely filling that bucket up. How interesting. It always did on old Arnold. Huh. I guess that would suggest that's much more concentrated gold than eh? Which we like. Um, oh. These mats. Well, uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to I'm just going to wash them all even though some of these are not fully saturated. Yeah, see that's new. Well, maybe not, because we dumped two buckets in at the same time. And obviously, they're going to be a higher concentrate because it's a gravel pump. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, keep working on the hog pen mats next. So these all got switched out, so these should be fully saturated here. 17 more ounces of gold. That's pretty good. And those did not get used. Okay. We don't have a, a hog pan mat dude on this one. Uh, well, we actually have one on the hog pan, but we don't have a, a mat switcher guy, I don't think. I'll have to look again and see what the deal is with that. But the other, the other major piece that we're still missing with our setup is you know, a full complement of high-level workers. And the main reason I don't have that is just because I play on real in real time, for those of you who don't know. And uh, when you play in real time, it takes a really super long time for the workers, to, for you to get the workers. Okay, so I think what we were going to do with this setup, can we um, shove those up there like before? Yeah, it looks like we can is we're going to do these from up above. They're kind of disappearing. Hopefully we can find them again. <laughs> Nuggetator has finished. And we have to actually crouch to get these in there. If you guys have a better suggestion for how I could set this Nuggetator up for this sluice, um, I'm all ears. Whoops. Crap, now I'm stuck. Get up there. Yeah, this is not ideal. Stuck again. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, get back over here. Okay, let's start this Nuggetator. You have a bucket, right? Yeah. We'll dump this in here. The 
Let's turn that off for now. Okay, so you're done. Over on this side, so let's take this concentrate and put it in here. And then this one's ready to go over in to here. 31%. That is done for the moment. Uh, okay. Now we'll put the hog pans back. Yeah, I'm, I, I gotta, I definitely have to come up with a good rhythm for this. Cause I feel like I'm just kind of like <laughs> all over the place right now. Well, because I am. <laughs> We'll figure it out, though. I had a pretty good rhythm down at Old Arnold. And was able to do the cleanouts pretty quickly. But, you know, this is all a different arrangement here. All right. And then we have a couple to go back over here. Well, four to be precise. I actually should have put these in that one instead of running over here. So that was my first mistake. I don't make that mistake next time. Well, at least I don't think I will. I'll try not to. We'll put it that way. No promises, though. No promises. Okay, so that gets the hog pans back set up. Let's get this put back to... Oh, man. I keep jumping off the edge of there. I think I can pull these out without having to crouch. I think. Okay. Easy. Easy. Uh, no, I can't. I do have to crouch. Uh, sucks. Okay. Put this there. Okay, and then grab this and put it down there. Crouch to get these. I try not to move. Over move. Uh, miner's grill there. Okay, and then two more of these guys. And one more miner's grill right there. There, okay, that's put back together. Now we just have to do this one. This one should be a little bit easier because we have the um, stairs. Here, what if we just throw those over there? Uh, that should work pretty good. Except for, dang it, I can't, <laughs> I can't, I have to crouch to get that one too. What the heck, man? Can I grab this one without crouching? No. I don't like this place. I don't like this setup, man. Here, I can grab that one without crouching. <clears throat> now we're just going to have to get used to it. We're here now. We are here now, and we are here to stay. After all the money we paid for this place. Didn't we, like, throw down $2.4 to buy this parcel? I think that's what it was. Crazy. Crazy expensive. Okay. We'll wash those mats. And we already emptied this bucket, right? Yeah, okay. And then uh, we'll run that through here and then dump it all in and do one more wave table washing. This will be the big one. We always get the most from the uh, from the miners' mosses. Okay, we got up to 20% 20, 20 magnetite on the first clean out. That's not terrible. And everything should now be clear, right? I think so. All right, let's run this and see what we get. Okay, we got 78.7 .7 ounces. Almost got 80 ounces. All right, well, you know, not terrible for being in crap, semi-crappy dirt in our first, you know, run and everything. So, yeah, I guess I can't complain too much about that. All right, you guys. Well, there you have it. 
our very first clean out here on uh, Nighthawk Parcel. Let's get that reconnected and these reconnected. All right. Well, everything's working. Frankenstein is set up and working well. Um, so what I'm going to do, well, now that we have the actual advantage of looking through the texture, we want to get to the flat area. So, but the plan is to cut into, let's get in here so we have a bit of a bird's eye view. Uh, we're going to, we're going to process all the four squares that I have marked cause that's reasonably good gold. And then we're going to pretty much kind of dog leg to the left, um, to get to the flat area, which is the direction we need to go anyways. You know what I might end up doing though? Um, I might actually end up, it's really steep right here though. I might cut through here too, just so we can kind of get down to the flat area a little more quickly. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But the first, the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to cut these four squares out and then I'll, I'll kind of assess what makes the most sense to do next. Um, because you know, we're going to need to be able to get the second Frank in there and it's going to ultimately need to be going in this direction. And we might even need to get a third Frankenstein. Well, we definitely will eventually need to get a third Frankenstein, but we might need to get a third one even just to get to the next batch of gold. We'll just kind of have to see how things go. Uh, but anyway, not a terrible start. I am. Uh, I, I wish we would have gotten a little bit more gold than that, but it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It'll get better. Uh, so yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go here. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.